Well, now that 2022 is over, it's time for the fresh hell of 2023. To start the year off wrong, we've assembled some world leaders to hear about their New Year's resolutions. We begin with President Biden. Oh, hey there, Jack. For the last time, my name. Oh, whatever. Mr. President, what is your New Year's resolution? Well, it was a surprisingly good year for your old pal Joe. The red wave was just a trickle, and Trump is going to run again. So my New Year's resolution is to stop listening to all these clowns who say I shouldn't run in 2024. Mr. President, I think I speak for millions when I beg you. Beg you Sorry, not to... Sorry, can't hear you. See you after my next colonoscopy. <sighs> Well, age before beauty, I suppose. We now go to President Zelensky. Mr. Zelensky, what is your resolution? Well, we also had good year, all things considered. I mean, we are still here, which nobody expected, and we are kicking Russian butt now, so I resolve to bulk up a little bit. Bulk up? But the world loves your endearing dad bod. I am not talking about me. I am talking about the map of Ukraine. I will add a little bit of soft Crimean underbelly. <laughs> Yikes. Ambition versus contentment. The eternal choice for New Year's resolutions. Okay, let's go next to President Xi Jinping. President Xi, you've been pretty busy lately. What do you hope to take on in the next year? Taiwan. Can you elaborate? No. No? No. Okay then. Now, Mohammed bin Salman, what's on your mind? Tough one. What a year it was. Punking Joe Biden, beating Argentina, getting immunity for that... Uh, Yada, 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 back in 2018. Dunno, it feels like it's time to relax and focus on myself a bit. Eat, pray five times a day, and love, you know what I mean? Ha! MBS, mind, body, soul. I like it. Okay, last but not least, it's Vladimir Putin. In 2023, I will cut off all negativity that does not serve me in my journey. I will thrive alone like beautiful Siberian cactus. Well, there you have it, ladies and germs. If we've learned one thing from the past 90 seconds, it's that powerful men really would rather destroy the world than just go to therapy. Happy New Year! Puppet regime! Okay, everyone, I'm gonna recommend something that might put me out of a job, but hey, no one likes their jobs these days anyway, right? Subscribe to Signal, G Zero Media's global politics newsletter, and tune out cable news blowhards like me. Check the link below.